what is the language of God? Does he have a language? How exactly does God speak? What is the language of God? So you said you had God. What exactly did you hear? The language of God is not Greek. It's not Hebrew. It's not English. It's not Yoruba. You will test what you are hearing now against many things you have been calling God said. So does God speak English? Does God speak French? I guarantee you by the integrity of scripture that none of these is the language of God. The language of God is like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and grace that are always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. Are we following so far? So we have established the fact that the concept of the voice of God is not limited to his speakings his vocal communications alone but that it's a holistic capture of all the channels and the pathways that god uses to communicate his will and his intent please say after me will yes. say after me intent one more time say will yes. say intent yes. the entire scope of the dealings of god with man centers around these two words his will and his intent the purpose of spiritual communication from god to man is to make accessible to man the will and the intent of god hallelujah so for this session we would look at how god speaks how exactly does god speak because there are many believers who are at a loss um, as to how God speaks or how God communicates. The Bible reveals several channels that have been used by God to communicate his will and his intent that we generically call the voice of God. In fact, Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1, it says, God who in sundry times and diverse manners speak take note of that diverse manners speak god who in sundry times and diverse manners speak in time past to the fathers by the prophets have in these last days spoken to us so you see different channels sundry times diverse manners he speak now he has spoken to us through his son so there are many channels for spiritual communication i'm not discussing them but let me just list a few of them for your knowledge number one the bible teaches that the primary channel for god's communication as far as his intent is concerned is the holy scripture please write so the scripture is the principal channel it is amazing that the scripture that we have represents the voice of god are we together and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation it says the holy scripture number two dreams visions and supernatural encounters the bible is very clear as to the fact that god uses dreams visions and supernatural encounters to communicate his intent we see this scattered from genesis to revelation whether it is for abraham whether it is for joseph the father the earthly father of jesus hallelujah whether it is for pharaoh revealing that seven years would come with plenty and seven years would come with um, famine all of these prophetic encounters dreams visions supernatural encounters number three the prophetic now proper the prophetic i think that should be hosea chapter 12 and verse 10 i hope i'm right on that it says i have spoken to you by the prophets so god speaks 
by the prophet the prophetic is a channel for his communication is someone learning now i have multiplied visions he says let's finish the scripture i have used similitudes even by the ministry of the prophets number four another channel for spiritual communication is called the knowing or the witness of the spirit fathers of faith who have joined the cloud of witnesses like papa hagin would talk a lot about the knowing of the spirit the bible says the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons or the children of god there is a knowing the spirit can bear witness with your spirit hallelujah there are many other channels but at least this ones is just to be able to guide our understanding to see that when we are talking about the voice of god i repeat again that the voice of god is not limited to the vocabulary communications of god like we know our concept of voice means sound that comes from the lips or the mouth of a man but i'm telling you now that in dealing with spiritual communications the most important thing is the transference of his will and his intent to the believer that means at the end of whatever you call hearing god if the will and the intent of god does not get to you it's not god that you heard it doesn't matter how spiritual it doesn't matter how flamboyant we can vet your hearing god not by the accuracy of what you think not by the charismatism that happened remember there can be sound and rain but then the voice may not be there the proof of accurate hearing is that we see that your life evolves into the will and the intent of god with exactitude and precision are we together so how does god speak hmm. what is the language of god does he have a language hallelujah while while i was in the green room I was enjoying the praise and the worship except that for for largely for it i really didn't understand what you know from from a cultural standpoint now i was enjoying it of course but i didn't know the meaning of the words because for instance i'm not yoruba by earthly you know my earthly connection now so there are languages if i speak something in yoruba now i expect most or all yoruba people to be able to respond is that true so what is the language of god if we are talking about the communications of god does he speak greek does he speak hebrew <laughs> does he speak english what is the language of god you will test what you are hearing now against many things you have been calling god said so you said you had god what exactly did you hear you should have the confidence to answer this question what did you hear for someone he will say god told me i think it's time to move left so does god speak english does god speak french it is amazing that every nation hears god so what exactly does he tell them please pay attention now are we together the language of god is not greek it's not hebrew it's not english it's not yoruba in fact the bible tells us paul was speaking in first corinthians 13 verse 1 that there are the language or tongues of men and tongues of angels so we know that there are languages even in the realm of the spirit but i guarantee you by the integrity of scripture that none of these is the language of god it does not mean that he cannot communicate through these channels but that is not the language of god the language of god is not vocabulary the language of god is light please write it down hmm. the language of god is light first john chapter 1 and verse 5 already tells us that god himself is light this is the message he says which we have heard of him and declare unto you that god is light not god has light god 
is light and in him there is no darkness at all if it is true that he is light then everything that emanates from him must be light are we together psalm 119 verse 130 psalm 119 are we still together please the bible says the entrance of thy word give it what it didn't say it give it information the entrance of thy word just follow me carefully the entrance of thy words give it light then there is another kind of giving again it now gives understanding but leave the issue of understanding the first thing it gives is light that means once that light does not arrive there is no possibility of understanding the entrance of thy word give it light is someone learning hmm. Matthew chapter 17 and verse 5 the language of God is light the Bible says this was at the transfiguration that while he yet spake behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and behold a voice out of the cloud which said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased then he says hear ye him my question is were they not listening so what did he mean by hear him you would hear the bible say again and again that he that hath an ear now remember he was talking to people who were created in god's image so what kind of ear is this that he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches are we together 